Neumachter Lambsbräu Oerstdorf. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I've got one here today from the Neumachter Brewery. I'm just looking at this and I think the actual brewery is called Lambsbrow or Lambsbroy. The area is Neumachter. That's, that's the area, so Neumachter would be a native of Neumarkt. Neumarkt in German I think means New Market, which is I think in it's in Bavaria, could be wrong on that, don't quote me, can't speak the language. Erstoff, I think means flagship beer. That's the, that's not a literal translation obviously, but I think that's what it roughly translates to. And this brewery have been going since 1628. According to them, they found documentation, which they're gonna hammer the shit out of and say they, they've been around since then. Now, since 1977, this lot have put a massive emphasis on organic ingredients, and they do that now as a matter of course. It's only now that breweries are picking up on that. You get a lot of breweries now who make a big thing about organic ingredients that they're using. Some of the craft brewers do it. A lot of the traditional British brewers do it as well. But, you know, organic is such a, I wouldn't say a meaningless term, but... I don't know what the criteria is to be able to call yourself organic. I know it, it could potentially be the pesticides or certain pesticides aren't used. It, it really is a loose term, but there you go. The big thing about this is it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a, yeah, it's a Hellas. So it's an organic lager, basically. Finally got there in the end. I know um, certain British brewers do this as well about the organic stuff. St. Peter's is, um, you know, the one the brewery in Suffolk, they do a big thing about organic beer. Sam Smith's do their organic lager and their organic wheat beer as well. And I have to say, they're two fantastic beers from Sam Smith, so maybe this is going to be good. Now, this coming from the region of Bavaria naturally conforms to the Reinheitsgebot. I couldn't really get much information on the website because they also do organic soft drinks as well. They do a lemonade. Uh, they do another bit, another soft drink as well. I, the name escapes me. I'm, to be honest, I'm not really fucking interested in soft drinks. But it looks reasonably okay. So with that in mind, let's get it home. Let's see what's going on. Right, before I get it open, let's just investigate what it is. It's a 500 ml bowl. It's 4.7%. It contains all organic ingredients, and really that is about as much as you're gonna get. Lamb's broy, obviously means lamb's beer. That would be a big hit in Wales for the Welsh. <laughs> Let's get it open, Let's see what's going on. Couldn't resist that one. Probably dead in Wales too, yeah. There you go. There is a cap, quite a nice cap. Do like that. That is one for the Z collection, yeah. Right, let's get it in the glass. As it's a Hellas, I'm gonna put it in a Pilsner glass because I just don't care. Oh, and that color, look at that color. That actually does look like a Pilsner, a Bavarian Pilsner. Interesting. Looks quite nice, that is a sort of a very, very light amber, golden amber colour on the nose. Yeah, smells quite nice, very bread and dough heavy in the aroma. 
Nice herbal notes as well, I have to say. I'm pretty sure these hops are going to come from the Havertail region. Yeah, smells really good. It's typically German. Nice sweet bread, dough, honey, herbal notes. Mmm, really nice. Looks nice as well, but that colour, that looks more like a, a Czech Pilsner than anything else. Let's get it down the hatch and see what gives. Zum Wohl, as they say in Germany. Oh, that's lovely. Cool. Oh, that's really good. Oh, let's have another go. Mm. Oh, that's very nice indeed. Wow, well, lovely long finish on it as well. That is a very nice German Hellas. Typical characteristics of a Bavarian as well. Slight honey coming from the yeast. Big bread dough type finish on it. Nice noble hop flavours in there too, like herbal and very slightly spicy notes on it. Yeah, I'm liking this. That is a very, very subtle roasted type multi note on this as well and <clears throat> it is actually putting me in mind a little bit not a lot but a little bit of a Czech Pilsner now I don't know why it's doing that maybe it's subconsciously because of the color but there is I find this in Czech Pilsners and it you know if you get one that's decent especially on tap it really does come through you get a very very subtle roasted note which is kind of bordering on the sort of caramel malt type flavor but it's it's so subtle you'll miss it if you get a a bottle of it possibly you do get it on draft i have noticed it on draft but i'm getting it slightly on here which is really good and you know the organic ingredients do they make a difference well uh, i really don't have much idea on that I don't know what the criteria is for being organic um, maybe not using pesticides I doubt very much though you'd get away growing malt and hops without using any type of pesticide whatsoever now I know in the Halatai region they're trying to develop hops that are resistant to mildew that is the biggest enemy of hops so if that's built into the hop but you've got other threats as well aphids flies caterpillars well it's going to be hard for caterpillars if it's well maybe not but they do feed on the leaves of hops so it's yeah it's a never-ending battle really with with hops against pests and of course that means pesticides whether it makes a difference or not i really don't know When I say a difference, I mean a difference in taste. But this is a really good Hellas, so I have to say. Fuck me. That is really drinkable. It's got everything you would want in a good Bavarian Hellas. Big, bready and doughy malt. Nice honey coming from that yeast that mixes in and sweetens up the malt. There is quite a grainy character to it as well, which is nice. And then you've got all the spicy and herbal notes and that long, doughy, sweet finish. Yeah, it's fucking lovely. I could drink absolute gallons of this stuff. Mmm, nice earthy notes coming through now. Oh, this is really good. 
I really like this. This is a great beer. So what's the verdict on Neumachter Lambsbräu Erstoff? Lambsbräu, Bräu Erstoff, I should say. I'll try to get the pronunciation right on these because there is nothing worse than watching somebody reviewing beer and they're getting the pronunciation wrong. Now I'm guilty of it and I'm really grateful if any viewers will, or subscribers will point out to me where I've made a mistake because I really do like to get things right when I'm pronouncing a beer, but I do see it a lot on, on YouTube channels and I, I just hear the, the person reviewing pronounce the beer name wrong and it, it just grates on me because they use the same pronunciation. I'm probably guilty of it as well. So I'm not saying I'm better than anyone else because I am. I drink a lot of Belgian beer, I drink a lot of German beer and I, I definitely struggle with Flemish. With German, it's not too bad, but yeah, it's, uh, it's one of them things. And don't even talk to me about French. I give up on that fucking language ages ago. But there you go. How does this, how does this work then? Well, yeah, it's nice. I do like it. It's got a very nice flavour, almost reminiscent of a Pilsner, but it's, it's drawn back a little bit and it is, it is a really good Hellas. They do make a big thing about the 100% organic ingredients that go in here. It certainly is a nice beer. Whether it tastes like that because of the organic ingredients, I really couldn't tell you because I've tasted beer that tastes just as good as this. So, you know, obviously it's gonna be, well, I say beer is gonna be better for you. It's gonna be better than if it's been mixed with, you know, pesticides and shit like that because, you know, the way, I had a mate, here's a little story for you. I had a mate, he was a bass player in a band and uh, we did a little, little tour with him in Sweden and uh, I was talking to him, I, I know him from way back, he used to live in Tottenham, he was a punk, he loved all the same music, we went to college together doing uh, bricklaying, and he owned a, an orchard, he, well he didn't own it, he inherited it from his parents when they died, and I said how's it going, he said it's a fucking struggle, he says every day I am just constantly spraying the apples, just every day spraying them with pesticides, he said the reason being is the supermarkets want perfect apples. So when you see your perfect apples in the supermarket, there's a reason for that. They are fucking soaked with pesticides. And he said he was doing that every day. He says, because if I don't, and you get any little bruises or any little bites out of it, the supermarket reject it immediately. And it goes to make cider. And he said, cider apples, he said, do not make as much money as the money that goes into the supermarket apples. So just bear that in mind, you know, I do appreciate organic stuff, you know, if they're not using the pesticides, because when you think about it, if you are soaking fruit every day in pesticides that will kill insects, you know, that's gonna have an effect on you, surely. Now, I'm no scientist, I'm no, you know, doctor or anything like that, but I just know that you know, if you're eating an apple or any fruit or vegetable that's been coated in pesticides, it can't be good for you, surely not. So I'm hoping when they say organic, that that's what they mean, but how they can get away with that, not using pesticides, I don't know. But there you go, that's just my take on it. As for the beer, well, that is a very nice pint indeed. I do like the fact it's organic and it tastes good too. I'm gonna give it, I should really give it a 10 out of 10 because it's what I love in Bavarian beer. It's all in this. Everything I would expect is here and in abundance. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Fuck it. Yeah, that's what, that's what Bavarian brewers do. They do best, you know, if, if somebody said to me, what region, if you had to name a region in the world where the best beer comes from, you could argue Burton on Trent, you know, various regions in the world have their brewing capitals. Obviously with Britain, it's Burton on Trent, although I'm not sure, so much sure now because Marston's brew some shit there. But certainly Bavaria, just, there's just so much good beer coming out of that place and has been for years. And this is no exception. So for me, that's a 10 out of 10. It's what I like. If you're getting fed up with me, giving Bavarian beers 10 out of 10, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be honest. If it's an outstanding beer, 
it's going to get 10 out of 10. And that is, that is pretty outstanding. It's nice. It's got the, it's almost bordering on a Czech Pilsner, but it's not. It's like, if you can imagine a, a hybrid of a Czech Pilsner and a Hellas, the perfect, possibly the perfect lager. Who knows? But it's 10 out of 10 and it's definitely recommended. And remember, beer is working class champagne.